Hi, I'm from Electron Music Machines and I'm here to show you the Analog 4. The Analog 4 is a 4-track analog synthesizer with digital controls. So you have that really nice analog sound with some really delicate digital controls. And you also have a sequencer where you can change the sound drastically within the sequence. The Analog 4 has a lot of features under the hood and I will try to show you and let you hear how these features sound and work. I will put two few trigs on the sequence and press play and try to change the sound as it You have parameter locks so each of the step can be a whole different setting. I can for example change the waveforms for each of the steps and change the tuning of the oscillators. As you can hear, you can there are digital effects inside the analog. This is the reverb unit here. And this is the delay. And this is the chorus. When you have a fine mix of three of them, the sounds can really shine. I will go to the second track and try to add some other things to it. I could lower the tuning. I can go to track 3 and maybe add some drums to this. What's really cool feature of the Analog 4 is that you can trigger different presets in the sequence per step. So I can hold the step and then select which preset that I want. So I can have a snare sound here. I can copy that sound to the other location in the sequence and maybe add other kicks. And also I could add some hi-hats to this as well. On top of this, you have a performance page where you can assign any of the parameters from any of the tracks to one knob. And I will show you this now. As you can hear, a lot of parameters are changing as I'm twisting the knobs on the performance page. This is a great way to come up with different ideas of a pattern that you've already created. The Analog 4 has got four synth tracks and I can change the tracks with these buttons here. Each of the tracks has got various pages to edit your synthesis. And I will go through them now so you get an idea of how it sounds. You have different waveforms. You have a sub oscillator for each of the two analog oscillators. And also the sub oscillator can go to a fifth of the note you're pressing. This makes it very easy to create chord sounds with just a monophonic sound structure. So I will go to the second oscillator and feed that in. And maybe fine tune it as well. And maybe add a sub oscillator. All the waveforms can be pulsed with modulated. Now I will go to the filter section. I have two filters and an overdrive unit, which are analog. I will use the overdrive now. And this is the second filter here now. 
acting as a high pass. You also have an amp page where you can assign different attack, decay, sustain, release parameters. You also have two envelopes where you can assign two different parameters for each of the envelopes. Let's say I want to add pitch. I can also assign another parameter like, let's say, noise level maybe. It's also worth mentioning that the oscillator 1 has also got a noise page. Which is very handy to create hi-hat and snare sounds and other weird sounds as well. On top of this you have two LFOs and each of the LFOs have got two parameter destinations. So let's say I want to assign pitch. And for the second destination, I can assign the filter. What's more interesting with these LFOs is that the, the audio, the speed can go really high going into the audio range. As you can hear, the analog sound of the analog 4 is really something to watch out for. And with the digital controls, you can really bend and shape your synthesizer sound. The analog 4 has got three digital effects, and these are reverb, delay, and chorus. And I will show you them now. This is the reverb here. The reverb can be extremely long. You can even freeze it. Which is very nice for ambient music, if you wish to do so. Now I will move on to the delay. The delay can be fed into the reverb unit as well. Again, making it very handy for these type of sounds. Now, I will demonstrate the chorus. As you can hear, it can be very subtle or extremely strange. And also, this can also be fed into the delay and the reverb units. And also the delay feedback can be used to self-oscillate. which can be quite dangerous to your speakers. You also have CV outputs where you can control your external vintage gear or modular gear. And on top of that, you also have two inputs where you can process your external gear while you're controlling it with CV through the digital effects and the filters that I've shown you. The Analog 4 has got six track sequencer. Four of these tracks are used for internal synthesis. Another one for effects and the final one for CV. You can use parameter locks on the analog 4, so each of the tricks in the sequence can have a totally different settings of the parameters available for that track. And I will show you this now. So by adding different notes to the sequence, 
and also changing different parameters just for that note, it's easy to come up with interesting patterns. It's also possible to put reverb or delay or chorus on single hits by using the parameter locks. Also, the sequencers on the Analog 4 can have individual step lengths. So creating polyrhythmic stuff is very easy on Analog 4. You can also record your parameter changes in real time, and I'll show you that now. And on top of all this, you can parameter lock your effects as well as your CV parameters in the sequencer. So all your settings for your delay and your reverb and your chorus can change per step. And all your settings for your CV can change per step as well, resulting in very interesting rhythms for your vintage and your modular gear. The Analog 4 has got six arpeggiators, one for each track, and I will show you how it works now. Each of the arpeggiators has got a mini sequencer, and you enter that in the arp settings. Now I can hold multiple tricks in the sequence and by the parameter knob I can change the value for these steps. I can add other notes in the sequence as well. And you can also change the length of your arpeggiator. And you also have controls for range and speed. You have various mods like random, shuffle, cycle. And you also have a parameter for speed. This is a really useful tool to come up with some interesting melodies. Pattern change on the Analog 4 is instance. I will show you this now. So I have a basic pattern here and I will queue up the other pattern and as you will hear, the sound changes instant This is really important when you're playing live and you want to switch to another song or part of your performance instantly without any glitches On the back of the Analog 4 you have headphone outputs main outputs two audio inputs two CV outputs MIDI in, out, through and a USB port the USB port is used for MIDI sync and data transfer between your computer. The CV outputs, you can send four CV signals from the two CV outputs to control your modular or your vintage gear. And you have two audio inputs to process incoming audio with filters and effects. You could even rack up four tracks to process your audio inputs and make use of eight filters at once, making it a very strong filter bank machine. To finish off this presentation, I will use the Analog 4 with the Octatrack. The Analog 4 outputs are going into the Octatrack inputs. By doing this, I can process the Analog 4 audio inside the Octatrack. Octatrack will take care of the rhythms and also Analog 4 will take care of the synth parts. Enjoy!
Did it sound okay?